Introduction to Oil Extraction and Refining Process The diverse agro-conditions of India are favorable to grow nine oilseed crops like groundnut, mustard, soybean, sunflower, sesame, safflower, niger, castor, and linseed. There are some tree bone oil seeds also which are grown in wild like sal, mahua, walnut, kokum, olive, etc. The demand for oil has increased manifold from the past century due to increase in personal disposable income and consumer demand. The oil seed industry includes the following major processing technologies. Traditional mechanical crushing or expelling, used for oil seeds with relatively high oil content. Solvent extraction, for processing oil seeds and expeller cake used for oil seeds with less than 20% oil content. Oil seeds milling process. The oil seed milling process differs according to the oil seed and extraction method used. Following is a general overview of the oil seed milling process. Receiving and storage seeds. The seeds are stored in a silo before use. A silo is a structure for storing bulk materials. The seeds arrive at a facility by truck or rail and are sampled for moisture content, foreign matter and damaged seeds. Then the seeds are weighed and conveyed to concrete silos or metal tanks for storage until processing. Cleaning When the seeds arrive at the processing factory, it contains foreign material like chaff and other debris which may even contain pieces of metal apart from lumps of soil and stones. So, the first step is to clean the seeds in a vibrating sieve. The seed smaller than the openings in the sieve's mesh fall through a conveyor below. These seeds then pass by a magnet. This removes any metal that may have fallen in during the journey from field to factory. Conditioning After cleaning, the seeds are conditioned. Conditioning is a process wherein the seeds are heated and moistened to make them pliable enough to ensure proper flaking. Flaking. Next, the seeds enter a roller mill. They pass between two steel rollers which crush them into thin flakes. Oil removal is facilitated by reducing seeds into smaller particles. The main purpose of flaking is to increase the contact surface between the oil seed tissues and the solvent and to reduce the distance that the solvent and the extract will have to travel in the process of extraction. Extraction Expelling The first oil extraction occurs in an expeller or a screw press which squeezes the conditioned flakes to liberate the oil. It has a large revolving screw-shaped shaft enclosed within a slotted cage. As the shaft turns its threads, squeeze the flakes with high pressure, forcing out the oil which then drains out through the slots. The screw press extracts only some of the oil contained in the canola seeds. The remainder is still trapped in the pressed flakes, also known as cake. The hardened cake exits the other end of the press and moves on to a second extraction. Solvent Extraction In this extraction process, a solvent is applied to the pre-pressed material which bonds with the oil in the material. The mixture of solvent and oil is removed from the meal. The solvent is then flushed off by heating the oil in a sealed chamber. The oil-solvent blend is heated to 212 degrees Fahrenheit, 100 degrees Celsius, to distill off the solvent. Solvent extraction process is capable of extracting most of the oil contained in the hardened cake. Refining the extracted oil stored in large tanks now enters the refined phrase. The refining process separates out the natural impurities and natural waxes contained in the oil. 
These are then filtered out. The filtered oil is then bleached to lighten the color. Then a steam injection heating process is used to remove the distinctive odor of the vegetable oil. The oil is now fully refined and ready to be packed in bottles. Packing and Storing The completed processed oil is then measured and poured into clean containers which include plastic bottles, glass bottles, pouches, cans, etc. Equipment used in the oil extraction process Let us take a look at the different types of equipment and facilities required in the oil extraction process. Silos or storage bins A silo is a structure for storing bulk materials. Silos are used in agriculture to store grain or fermented feed known as silage. Silos are more commonly used for bulk storage of grain, coal, cement, carbon black, wood chips, food products and sawdust. An oil extraction and refining technician receives and weighs the raw material at the processing plant. He is also responsible for operating the grain elevator for transporting the raw material to the storage area. Destoner or vibrating sieves. Destoner is used for removal of heavy foreign contaminants like stones, metallic and glass pieces, etc., from grains and seeds of oil crops. It works on the principle of weight gravity separations with stratification by positive pressure fan. An oil extraction and refining technician is responsible for operating the destoner or vibrating sieves for cleaning the raw material. Conditioning machine. These are vertical stack cookers or rotary horizontal cookers wherein the seeds are heated and moistened to make them pliable enough to ensure proper flaking. An oil extraction and refining technician is responsible for maintain water level and time of the conditioner, turn valves to allow steam through lines, observe gauges to ensure temperature and moisture content conforms to standards. Flaker machine. Flaker machines are used to make tiny flakes from the seeds by passing them between steel rolls. Flaking machines consist of a pair of counter-rotating smooth steel rolls and driven at different speeds. An oil extraction and refining technician is responsible for set the speed of the rollers, change the rollers depending upon the size of the seeds, examine the flakes to ensure they conform to the set standards. Expeller screw press. Expeller pressing is the method of extracting oil with a mechanical press or a screw press. This machine uses friction and continuous pressure from the screwdriver to move and compress the seed material. The oil seeps through small openings that do not allow seed fiber solids to pass through. Afterward, the press seeds are formed in a hardened cake which is removed from the machine. Solvent Extraction Plant Solvent extraction is a process which involves extracting oil from oil seeds by treating them with a low boiler solvent. Inside the solvent extractor plant, the ground seed is purged with a petroleum distillate, which releases the oil in the seed. Refining Equipment Bleacher Bleaching Vessel The freshly extracted oil is agitated in the bleacher or the bleaching vessel for several minutes and then pass through the bleaching filter to remove any solid materials. These bleaching filters may be either plate and frame or leaf filters. The oil is then passed on to the deodorizing process. Deodorizing unit. The batch of oil is heated in the reactor vessel using a heater. Deodorization operation is carried out at high temperature by injecting open steam and maintaining high vacuum through which all odoriferous matter is distilled off. Packaging and Storage Storage is a very important step for any food product. Packaging can directly influence oil quality by protecting the product from both oxygen and light. 
the shelf life of the oils exposed to intense artificial light and diffused daylight is shorter than that of oils kept in the dark. Materials that can be used for oil packaging include glass, metals, tin coated steel, plastics. The entire oil packaging process can be categorized as filling, capping, sealing, labeling. Stock rotation system like FIFO and FEFO are applied. FIFO, first in, first out, is a stock rotation system that dispatches processed food depending on the order in which it is produced. FEFO, first expired, first out, is a stock rotation system wherein products that need to be consumed earlier are shipped first. Roles and Responsibilities of Oil Extraction and Refining Technician Let us now take a look at the roles and responsibilities of oil extraction and refining technician. Handle raw materials from post-harvest storage to the process line. Check raw material for quality. Ensure the ingredients are sound and free from dirt, debris, foreign matter, glass and insects. Ensure minimum loss of raw materials. Record keeping and documentation. Document and maintain records of raw materials. Document and maintain records of production schedule and process. Document and maintain records of finished products. Maintenance of hygiene and sanitation. Adopt safety and sanitation related measures. Follow food safety norms and practices. Inspect machines and troubleshoot issues or escalate them to the supervisor. Ensure smooth operation of machinery to complete production line. Optimize the use of machinery. Attend to minor repairs of tools and machinery when required. Ensure that safety rules and regulations are observed. Prevent accidents. Execute oil extraction and refining process. Adhere to good manufacturing practice, GMP. Ensure the products meet the quality standards set by the organization. Operation monitoring. Watch engages, dials or other indicators to make sure a machine is working properly. Quality control analysis. Conducting tests and inspections of products, services or processes to evaluate quality or performance. Follow storage and packaging norms. Ensure safety and proper storage of raw material, packing material and finished goods. Let us now summarize the roles and responsibilities of oil extraction and refining technician.